हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम सत श्रीकाल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन विद योर वॉश ऑफ एट वार एवर डॉट कॉम टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक ऑसम चिकन प्रिपरेशन द कोंकन स्टाइल चिकन कैफरी ऑल यू नो दिस इज वेरी पॉपुलरली अवेलेबल इन गोवा यू गाई शुड वॉच दिस केयरफुली एंड मेक इट बिकॉज दिस इज सुपर ऑसम सो फॉर दिस फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू ड्राई रोज सम इंग्रीडियंट्स एंड मेक ए पेस्ट एंड गोइंग टू मैरिनेट द चिकन विद इट सो हियर I've got some cinnamon, cloves, peppercorns, cumin seeds, and then poppy seeds. We're going to dry roast these ingredients. Okay, a lot of people when they make this dish, they make a mistake on uh, making the paste because these poppy seeds is slightly difficult to make a paste. So I'm going to show you an easy way. Now, when you dry roast these ingredients, just put it in a blender and then make a first dry powder. Now. in a pan take some oil and add uh, tamarind now do not burn the tamarind just uh, let it cook in the oil cooking this tamarind like this will give a nice taste in this add garlic ginger and green chili now we going to cook this till this green chili is become slightly soft wow and in this add lot of chopped coriander in this add turmeric and this is all ready Wow. switch off the flame now you can see that there are no more poppy seeds left you know just by making a powder of the dry ingredients you will make sure that the poppy seed is also nice powdered now in this add this tamarind green chilies the coriander leaves wow the garlic of course and we're going to make this into a nice paste and marinate the chicken you can see that uh, this is all a fantastic paste now now look at this there are no more signs of poppy seed if you have made this dish and you found lot of poppy seeds ungrinded so now you know how to do this in this add salt and some lemon juice now in this add the chicken and mix this good now look at this this already looks awesome but do not try to make it right away put it in the refrigerator overnight or if not at least 4 hours of uh, letting it sit and marinate the chicken also will get nicely cooked and tender because the method what we are going to cook this chicken we do not have uh, much of water or anything to cook it and boil it for long time so it is a must that you keep it marinated for at least 4 to 6 hours overnight is most preferred now add oil in a pan you may need to add little extra oil now uh, we don't need to add anything just the oil slightly when it heats up we going to add the chicken pieces to this just make sure that each chicken piece is uh, touching the pan now after you arrange this in the pan and then put the lid on and we going to cook on a slow flame for around 7 minutes then we going to turn the other side and again cook for 7 8 minutes till the chicken is nice and tender this is not going to have any gravy like thing but when the chicken is almost done i'm going to add an ingredient that will make this dish super super awesome few minutes just turn it on to the other side ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha look at this nicely brown and nice now put the lid on and we're going to cook the other side too because we marinated the chicken for a long time the chicken is nice and tender and look at this with a nice slightly brown color the chicken is roasted till it is cooked perfectly now in the same pan drain out this little oil and then i'm going to show you some magic Look at this chicken. This is so perfectly cooked, and ah, perfect. You know, nice, little bit. But the last ingredient, if you want to add, you can add because the chicken is already very nice and tasty and very very tender. So in this, add a little bit of rum. Okay, a nice sweet rum in this, and. add some onion and green chili the slits green chili wow that's it and then put the lid on and now this rum is going to flavor your chicken and it is going to be heavenly now look at this any piece of chicken is uh, nice and juicy wow 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 with a subtle flavor of rum aha mm if you marinate the chicken rightly it will be nice and juicy just melting in your mouth dear friends just make it this is very very tasty you know 
because of the rum, I just want to remove my chef coat and put on my lungi, but that is for another session. But do not forget, Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you. Beep, beep, beep.